Part 9 Case Studies Part 9 presents a case study that uses multiple Java EA technologies. This part contains the following chapter. Chapter 49, Duke's Tutoring Case Study Example Duke's Tutoring Case Study Example The Duke's Tutoring Example application is a tracking system for a tutoring center for students. Students or the guardians can check in and out. The tutoring center can track attendance and status updates and store contact information for guardians and students. The following topics are addressed here. Design and architecture of Duke's Tutoring Main Interface Administration Interface Running the Duke's Tutoring Case Study Application Design and architecture of Duke's Tutoring Duke's Tutoring is a web application that incorporates several Java EA technologies. It exposes both the main interface for students and guardians and an administration interface for tutoring center staff to maintain the system. The business logic for both interfaces is provided by Enterprise Beans. The Enterprise Beans use the Java Persistence API to create and store the application's data in the database. Figure 49-1 Architecture of the Duke's Tutoring Example Application Duke's Tutoring uses the following Java EA6 platform features. Java Persistence API Entities Java API for Java Beans Validation Bean Validation Annotations on the Entities for Verifying Data A Custom Bean Validation Annotation Email for Validating Email Addresses Enterprise Beans Local, No Interface View Session and Singleton Beans Jax RS Resources in a Session Bean Java EA Security Constraints on the Administrative Interface Business Methods All Enterprise Beans Packaged Within the War Java Server Faces Technology, Using Facelets for the Web Front and Templating Composite Components A Custom Formatter, Phone Number Formatter Security Constraints on the Administrative Interface AJAX Enabled Facelets Components The Duke's Tutoring Application has two main user interfaces, both packaged within a single WA or file. The main interface, for students, guardians, and staff the administrative interface used by the staff to manage the students and guardians, and to generate attendance reports. Apart from the main and administrative interface, there is a Juna test that demonstrates how to use the embedded EJB container to test the business logic of the session beans. Main interface. The main interface allows students and staff to check students in and out, and record when students are outside at the playground. Java Persistence API Entities Used in the Main Interface The entities used in the main interface encapsulate data stored and manipulated by Duke's Tutoring, and are located in the Duke's Tutoring Entity Package. The person entity defines attributes common to students and guardians tracked by the Duke's Tutoring application. These attributes are the person's name and contact information, including phone numbers and email address. The phone number and email address attributes have been validation annotations to ensure that the submitted data is well formed. The email attribute uses a custom validation class, Duke Studering. Util. Email. Person has two subclasses, student and guardian. For additional data common to all people, the person details entity is used to store attributes like pictures and a person's birthday that aren't included in the person entity for performance reasons. The student entity stores attributes specific to the students that come to tutoring. This includes information like the student's grade level and school. The guardian entity's attributes are specific to the parents or guardians of a student. Students and guardians have a many-to-many -many relationship, that is, a student may have a one or more guardians, and a guardian may have one or more students. The address entity represents a mailing address, and is associated with person entities. Addresses and people have a many-to-one relationship, that is, one person may have many addresses. The tutoring session entity represents a particular day at the tutoring center. A particular tutoring session tracks which students attended that day, and which students went to the park. Associated with tutoring session is the status entry entity, which logs when a student's status changes. Students' status changes when they check into a tutoring session, when they go to the park, and when they check out. The status entry allows the tutoring center staff to track exactly which students attended a tutoring session, when they checked in and out, which students went to the park while they were at the tutoring center, and when they went to and came back from the park. 
For information on creating Java Persistence API entities, see Chapter 32, Introduction to the Java Persistence API. For information on validating entity data, see Validating Persistent Fields and Properties and Chapter 47, Advanced Bean Validation Concepts and Examples. Enterprise Beans Used in the Main Interface the enterprise beans used in the main interface provide the business logic for Duke's tutoring and are located in the Duke's tutoring. EJV package coffee bean is singleton session bean used to create the default students when the application is initially deployed and to create an automatic EJV timer that creates tutoring session entities every weekday. Request bean is a stateless session bean containing the business methods for the main interface. Students or staff can check students in and out and track when they go to and come back from the park. The Bean also has business methods for retrieving lists of students. The business methods in Request Bean use strongly typed criteria API queries to retrieve data from the database. For information on creating and using Enterprise Beans, see Part 4, Enterprise Beans. For information on creating strongly typed criteria API queries, see Chapter 35, Using the Criteria API to Create Queries. Facelets files used in the main interface. The Duke's tutoring application uses facelets to display the user interface and makes extensive use of the templating features of facelets. Facelets is the default display technology for Java server faces and consists of XHTML files located in the TUT install. Examples Case Studies Duke's Tutoring Web Directory The following facelets files are used in the main interface. Template XHTML Template file for the main interface. Error XHTML Error file if something goes wrong this shouldn't occur. Index. XHTML. Landing page for the main interface. Park. XHTML. Page showing who is currently at the park. Current. XHTML. Page showing who is currently in today's tutoring session. Status entries. XHTML. Page showing the detailed status entry log for today's session. Resources. Components. All students table. XHTML. A composite component for a table displaying all active students. Resources. Components. Current session table. XHTML. A composite component for a table displaying all students in today's session. Resources. Components. Park table. XHTML. A composite component for a table displaying all students currently at the park. Webinf. Includes. Navigation. XHTML. XHTML fragment for the main interface's navigation bar. Webinf. Includes. Footer. XHTML. XHTML fragment for the main interface is footer. For information on using facelets, see Chapter 5, Introduction to Facelets, Helper Classes Used in the Main Interface. The following helper classes in the Duke Tutoring. Util Package are used in the main interface. Calendar Util. A class that provides a method to strip the unnecessary time data from Java. Util. Calendar Instances. Email Custom Bean Validation Annotation Class for validating email addresses in the person entity. Status Type Unenumerated type defining the different statuses that a student can have. Poss possible statuses are in, out, and park. Status Type is used throughout the application, including in the status entry entity, and throughout the main interface. Status type also defines it a string method that returns a localized translation of the status based on the locale, properties files. The strings used in the main interface are encapsulated into resource bundles to allow the display of localized strings in multiple locales. Each of the following properties files has locale specific files, appended with the locale code, containing the translated strings for that locale. For example, messages s. Properties contains the localized strings for Spanish locales. Validation messages. Properties. 
strings for the default locale used by the Bean Validation Runtime to display validation messages. This file must be named Validation Messages. Properties and located in the default package as required by the Bean Validation Specification. Duke's Tutoring. Web. Messages. Messages. Properties. Strings for the default locale for the main and administration facelets interface. For information on localizing web applications, see Registering Custom Localized Static Text and Registering Custom Error Messages. Deployment Descriptors Used in Duke's Tutoring. The following deployment descriptors are used in Duke's Tutoring. SRC. Conf. Beans. XML. An empty deployment descriptor file used to enable the 401 runtime. Web. Webinf. Faces config. XML. The Java server faces configuration file. SRC. Conf. Persistence. XML. The Java persistence API configuration file. Web. Webinf. Glassfish web. XML. The Glassfish specific configuration file. Web. Webinf. Web. XML. The web application configuration file. No enterprise bean deployment descriptor is used in Duke's tutoring. Annotations in the Enterprise Bean class files are used for the configuration of Enterprise Beans in this application and administration interface. The administration interface of Duke's tutoring is used by the tutoring center staff to manage the data used by the main interface. The students, the students' guardians, any addresses. The administration interface uses many of the same components as the main interface. Additional components that are only used in the administration interface are described here. Enterprise beans used in the administration interface. The following enterprise beans in the Duke Studering. EJB package are used in the administration interface. Admin bean. A stateless session bean for all the business logic used in the administration interface. Contains security constraint annotations to allow invocation of the business methods only by authorized users. Facelets files used in the administration interface. The following facelets files are used in the administration interface. Admin. Admin template. XHTML. Template for the administration interface. Admin. Index. XHTML. Landing page for the administration interface. Admin. Login. XHTML. Login page for the security constrained administration interface. Admin. Login error. XHTML. Page displayed if there are errors authenticating the administration user. Admin. Address directory. Pages that allow you to create, edit, and delete address entities. Admin. Guardian directory. Pages that allow you to create, edit, and delete guardian entities. Admin. Student directory. Pages that allow you to create, edit, and delete student entities. Resources. Components. Form login. XHTML. Composite component for a login form using Java EA security. Webinf. Includes. Admin nav. XHTML. XHTML fragment for the administration interface's navigation bar. Running the Duke's Tutoring case study application. This section describes how to build, package, deploy, and run the Duke's Tutoring application. Setting up Glassfish server. Before running the Duke's Tutoring application, set up the security realm used by Duke's Tutoring with users and groups. The usernames and passwords set on the security realm are used to log into the administration interface of Duke's Tutoring. Duke's Tutoring maps users in the admins group of the server's security realm to the administrator role used in the security constraint annotations in admin bean. Adding a user to the file realm in Glassfish server. Use the administration console of Glassfish server to add a new user to the file security realm. Before you begin make sure Glassfish server is started as described in starting and stopping the Glassfish server. Open a web browser to the administration console at HTTP. Localhost. 
4848. In the left pane, expand configurations, server config, security, realms, and click file. On the edit realm page, click manage users. On the file users page, click new. In the user Idaho field, type a username under user id. In the group list field, type admins. In the new password and confirm new password fields, type a password. Click OK. Running Duke's Tutoring. This section describes how to build, deploy, and run Duke's Tutoring in NetBeans IDE and using it. To build and deploy Duke's Tutoring in NetBeans IDE. Before you begin, you must have already configured Glassfish Server as a Java EA server in NetBeans IDE, as described in to add Glassfish Server as a server in NetBeans IDE. From the file menu, choose Open Project. In the Open Project dialog, navigate to Tut Install. Examples. Case Studies. Select the Duke's Tutoring folder. Select the Open as Main Project checkbox and the Open Required Projects checkbox. Click Open Project. Note, the first time you open Duke's Tutoring in NetBeans, you will see error glyphs in the project pane. This is expected, as the metamodel files used by the Enterprise Beans for Criteria API queries have not yet been generated. Right-click Duke's Tutoring in the project pane and select Run. This will build, package, and deploy Duke's Tutoring to Glassfish Server, starting the Java DB database in Glassfish Server if they've not already been started. After the application has been successfully deployed, the Duke's Tutoring main interface will open in a web browser if NetBeans IDE has been configured to open web applications in a web browser. To build and deploy Duke's Tutoring using it. Before you begin, make sure Glassfish Server is started as described in starting and stopping the Glassfish Server, and Java DB Server is started as described in starting and stopping the Java DB Server. In a terminal window, go to Tut Install. Examples, Case Studies, Duke's Tutoring. Type the following command, and all this command builds, packages, and deploys Duke's Tutoring to Glassfish Server. Using Duke's Tutoring. Once Duke's Tutoring is running on Glassfish Server, use the main interface to experiment with checking students in and out or sending them to the park. Using the main interface of Duke's Tutoring, in a web browser, open the main interface at the following URL. HTTP Localhost 8080 Duke's Tutoring Use the main interface to check students in and out, and to log when the students go to the park. Using the administration interface of Duke's Tutoring, follow these instructions to log into the administration interface of Duke's Tutoring and add new students, guardians, and addresses. In a web browser, open the administration interface at the following URL, HTTP, localhost, 8080, Duke's Tutoring, admin, index, XHTML. This will redirect you to the login page. At the login page, enter the username and password you configured in adding a user to the file realm and Glassfish server. Use the administration interface to add or modify students, guardians, or addresses.